How's it going y'all? Austin Carter here. Today I'm going to show you how I use my Tipman Boss to stitch on hat patches. Hope y'all stick around. I begin by using contact cement to attach the leather patch to the hat. I put glue on the patch to help keep it centered and hold it in place. It is helpful to let the patch rest for a minute or two so that it dries to the hat. This next step is optional, but I then use calipers to scribe a light stitch line around the patch. Personally, this helps me keep the stitches in an accurate line. Most hats have an inside liner that must be folded back. If it is not folded back, you run the risk of stitching right through it, which is something you want to avoid. Making sure that you have all your settings correct on your Tipman Boss Slide the hat bill side first under the presser foot, making sure that the inside liner is still folded back. I generally start a few stitch lengths away from the corner so that as I come back around, my forward and back stitch stay confined to the bottom corner and out of the way. For this patch, I'm using size 138 bonded nylon thread with a size 18 needle. As you come to the first corner, go nice and slow so that you get an accurate stitch to land perfectly, starting your next run properly aligned. The patch that I'm stitching in this video is about 3 to 4 ounces, but I have made patches all the way up to 5 to 6 ounces, which is close to the limit I would go so that it doesn't become too bulky on your hat. As you come to the top run of the hat, try to flatten out the hat as much as possible. This may feel kind of awkward, but the hat can handle it and will pop right back into place as soon as you're done. Make sure that as you come up to the center seam in the hat that you go nice and slow. On most hats, there is a ridge that can sometimes cause your needle to slip either throwing off the stitch or causing the stitch to become longer or shorter in size. As you stitch the last side of the patch, you're going to make the turn and stitch to the original run that you made. If you have lined everything up correctly, your next stitch should fall right in between the corner and your very first stitch. I then do a couple forward and back stitches to finish the patch off. The hat is complete as soon as you trim and burn the ends of the thread. I just want to thank you all so much for uh, continuing to subscribe and watch my videos. If you have any questions about this process, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. And again, I just want to wish all of my new subscribers uh, welcome. We're going to have many more videos this year. And once again, thank you all so much for your continued support. And as always, you all have a great day.